haircut I see from how do they cut hair in Detroit <laughs> what happened to my Johnny David you know he might have gotten his hair uh, his haircut here in New York when he was here so watch what you say <laughs> I'm beginning to miss Kelly a lot <laughs> Listen, Regis is on a campaign. I okay. grew up in the Bronx, and there's a there's a, a parkway up in the Bronx called Pelham Parkway, and it's like four big lanes, you know. Okay. Two going this way, two going that way, and there are trees. It's more of a park than a parkway, and so these trees come and they they hover over the parkway. They've been there a hundred years. Now suddenly they want to cut these trees down. And so I just mentioned it the other day on the show, mm -hmm. and then it got turned into a write-up in the Daily News. And then yesterday, the Daily News editorial had a right here, leave them alone. Okay. And, and that's because of you? Well, no, 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 a whole bunch of people are, are vehemently opposed to this because we love that section of the Bronx. Right. And, we, and, and really, those trees have been there so long now, and they're just wonderful to look at. Uh, the City Hall declared 87 of those trees must die, be cut down to make way for an unsightly steel and wood guardrail for which there is no apparent need. Pelham Parkway is 400 feet wide, 2.3 miles, getting a $36 million reconstruction job uh, that includes upgrading the sewers that they probably can use. That's good thing. But somewhere along the way, someone decided the road should have guardrails, except some of the trees are too close to the pavement to allow them to, to be installed. As the guardrail might as well forget it. According to the police, only one fatal crash on that parkway this year, and last year the tally was zero. The tri state transportation campaign monitors the safety of uh, local roads, doesn't even include Pelham Parkway on its list for the most dangerous streets in the Bronx. And so we plead with City Hall. Listen, there are a thousand ways you can spend the $36,000 in the Bronx and make it a better place. This really isn't one of them. So I hope they'll, hope they'll think about that. All right, that's...